How old were you when you first started playing uh, drums? Ten years old. You were ten? Yeah. Awesome. Were you in a school band and was it geeky or cool? It wasn't cool to be in band at all. I had um, nothing I didn't want to be in a band. I had my own rock band. Ah, there you but go. I was at the same time I was studying percussion with this the percussion so the Boston Symphony Orchestra. So and then later on did five years of university training in orchestral music. Eventually was offered a job in Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra. Wow. Quito, Ecuador, play, I worked with Leonard Bernstein, Aaron Copeland, won a concerto competition. I was a really good timpanist, but then I went back to rock and roll. Wow, there you go. Yeah, rock First roll. actual gig was with the Alley Cats, and it was for the Grange meeting, an old person's uh, meeting in this small town I grew up of 3,000 people in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. It was a meeting with the elderly. Oh, wow. Rockstar status, what's that? When did you know that you hit rock star status? When you were 10? No. In your mind? When, when, we were, when I was on TV playing at the Grammys and suddenly we were the new shit, you know, cover of the Rolling Stone. And I'm back. That's where I went, oh, we're rock stars. Wow, it's pretty cool. Right on, that's awesome. What's next? Oh, what's, the, what's next Penny for Arnoff, me? Penny Arnoff, you rock, man. What's next for me? It's totally. Like, <laughs> it's endless. I don't have enough time to tell you. Exactly. Just a lot of sessions. Now, who all have you played with? You played with John Cougar Mellencamp? Over 500 people. Bliss Etheridge. I played with the Rolling Stones. I played with Bob Dylan. I played with Alan John. I played with Santana. I played with Rod Stewart. I played with. I played with all the young, young kids. I played with Avril Lavigne. I played with Lance Morissette. I played with uh, Celine Dion. I played with. Uh, I played with BB uh, King. I played with Ray Charles. I played. I mean, Bon Jovi. I played with Smashing Pumpkins. I played with Alice Cooper. I played with. Alice it's too many. Yeah. It's hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds. <laughs> That's a, you have to go Penny to the Arnoff, you rock, man. Thank you, Thank you Thank so you much, for much for helping out with today, and Mr. Holland's Opus, and and Don with Woodstick, and yeah. you rock. Thank you. Thank you so Bye. much, Kenny. Bye. I am here with Frankie Benali. My name is KK Ryder, and we are going to have a lot of fun because I'm going to answer, ask him some really awesome questions Okey -dokey. that might be burning and little kids' minds eaten. Um, how old were you when you first started playing Frankie? I was 14. He was 14. I was 14. Started and, late. Uh, were you, when you were in in your school band, were you geeky or cool? Uh, I was not, I was not in my school band, and the terms geeky or cool did not exist. <laughs> so it was just awesome to to start drumming and, and everything that. I'm not allowed to answer that question because it violates the instructions of my witness protection program status. <laughs> Can you not tell this guy was in Quiet Riot? He's is such in a Quiet riot. riot. Is in Quiet Riot. I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah. Um, actually, Don't you That's right. Frankie, I'd like to talk to you about something really cool that you are doing right now uh -huh. that is a um, tribute to Quiet Riot, and I'd like you to tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I've got uh, about 30 years worth of uh, home footage, uh, live concerts, backstage stuff, on the bus, vacations, uh, and putting together a Quiet Riot documentary is going to span 30 years of, uh, of my history with the band because I actually started playing with Kevin Dubrow in 1981. Um, so there's a lot of material there. It's going to be a lot of fun. That is sweet. And when did you feel like you reached rock star status? Uh, I'm still trying to attain it. All these guys are rock stars. I snuck in with them. <laughs> Frankie, you're awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. <laughs> What's your name? KK Ryder. Hi, KK Ryder. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, who do you play with now? I play with REO Speedwagon. Uh -huh. I'm the new guy with them, those guys. Perfect. I've been in the Ooh. band 23 years now, and they <laughs> never let me forget that I'm the new guy. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. I saw the pictures with Terry and, and you guys. Oh, last night? Yeah. yeah we played yeah. here in Seattle last night. Sweet. Very cool. Great. Okay. How old were you when you first started playing drums? I remember well. I was 10. Yeah? Yeah, 10 years old. Everybody seems like they were like 10 years old. Well, the fifth grade, that's uh, you know when you got to you know go and be in the band. You got the so. fever to get, yeah. the, get the rhythm yeah. and dance to, or rock your own beat. That's or whatever they say. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Um, so were you in the school band? Yes, I was. And was it cool? It was very cool in the day. My kids make fun of me now It's like because they wouldn't ever be in the school band. They both play instruments. But I think when I grew up, it was very cool to be mm -hmm. in the band, especially if you played drums. 
Oh, right on. We were like the rebels. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. And do you remember your very first gig? I do. I had a band with my uh, two older brothers. Uh, it was a soul band called The Solid Souls. And we played all James Brown, Wilson Pickett, Sam and Dave, nice. stuff like that. Johnny and, Hooker? Uh, no, no, that was a little too brute. I, I know John Lee and stuff. I liked it, but we were more danceable soul music. Right, okay. So. Cool. Very cool. And when did you absolutely know I've hit rock star status? I'm still waiting for that to happen, <laughs> actually. So, you know, um, yeah, maybe if I keep working really hard. And actually, I was in the band Wang Chung, like, 20, you were? 20 years ago oh, and, so and cool. my mom always wondered about you know she never really got the fact that I played drums and, uh -huh. and I'm touring the world we have a hit record I'm making a lot of money and my mom is still asking me what are you ever gonna do what are you gonna do when you grow up yep exactly. <laughs> so so get but down, Wei Mom, Chung. Mom's gone now, but Mom, I'm still doing it. Love you. There you go. There you go. Get down, Wang Chung, tonight. All right. You bet. <laughs> so I'm here with Brian Hitt. That's right. He's awesome. The Hitman. The Hitman. There you go.